It's Reveille. Longtime listeners should know that first call is sounded to assemble the troops before Reveille is played to start the day. Combined, they are a wake-up call in the military. Well, last week, a Reveille sounded in America that pierced through the noise of celebrity rallies, commercials, and leftist media diatribes against Trump. Americans from every walk of life sent a wake-up call to the elitists. We want America first policies, and we refuse to be ruled by people who think they are our betters. Trump improved in every demographic. Blacks, Hispanics, young women, millennials all moved further right, giving Trump the popular vote and a mandate. Blue state governors are worried. The governors from New York, California, and Illinois held pressers vowing to fight to protect abortion rights, workers' rights, trans rights, and those here illegally. They well understand that the federal government largesse that they rely on to balance their budgets is in jeopardy if they refuse to play ball with the new Trump administration. In 1984, the federal government changed the drinking age to 21 across the nation and threatened the withholding of 10% of highway transportation funds from states who did not comply. South Dakota challenged the law, and the U.S. Supreme Court sided with the federal government. So states who want to preserve sanctuary state policies, DEI policies, or attempt to thwart duly passed laws on the right to work and voter ID, for example, could find themselves faced with both lawsuits and a loss of money. How important is federal money to states? Well, J.B. Pritzker may need to be reminded that at the outset of COVID, his Senate president asked for $41 billion from the federal government. And then Illinois was the only state to borrow from a COVID fund to make ends meet. I'm Jeannie Ives. Check out The Real Story with me Sunday nights from 7 to 9 p.m. and sign up for my newsletter at breakthrough-ideas.com.